Hey guys, AG for T Survive and Thrive TV, brought. we're headed out to the desert and uh, we're gonna do a story on some guys living off the grid, living away from society, basically living entirely off the matrix, no driver's license, no social security numbers, no birth certificates. These guys are living the free man on the land concept in America, in California. We're gonna introduce you to them. But I wanna talk with you today about the abandonment of my friends, the abandonment of the people that I've trusted with my friendship over years and years and years. And this isn't addressed to you, but I think I would like to know what the hell is going on. All my friends that I've had for years and years that haven't evolved in the same way I have, you know, they're not necessarily opening their eyes or keeping their head in the sand about what the New World Order is doing with the government, the cr coming crackdown, the FEMA camps, the uh, regulation of our sovereign citizen rights to grow our own food, to produce our own prosperity. These friends of mine, so-called friends of mine, are still plugged into the matrix. And uh, you're going to make a right turn up here on the 10. But yet, every day, they're having more and more problems. They're struggling harder and harder with money. They can't go out, spend 30, 40, 50 bucks having a couple beers and, and alcohol in the clubs, whatever have you. You know, their own economic uh, disparity and uh, destruction, they're ignoring it and uh, they're just taking a look at my videos on YouTube and making fun of me. I'm the butt of a bunch of jokes, you know, and I'm, I guess that's it. I guess my extended friends that I've had for a long time are, uh, are, are, are no longer my friends. So uh, many times I'm sitting at home alone. Thank God I met Badfinger. He's a good friend and it seems like my friends off of YouTube I have more in common with than the friends I've grew up with. But even some of them are so busy, plugged into the matrix. I get so. They don't even have time for me and my friendship. And here's the thing. I'm not trying to be a whiny baby and saying boo-hoo, cry, whatever. But I'd like to, I'd like for us in America to get back to the true meaning of friendship and supporting one another. You're going through your daily zombie-like state and you're gonna die on your deathbed and realize you never truly had a friend, never truly supported another individual. We aren't criticizing people, we aren't putting people down. But when you speak the truth, the truth shall set you free and the truth will separate the wheat from the chaff. And what's happening is, people cannot handle the truth. And if you speak the truth, you are the devil, you are the leper, you are the person to be despised, you are the person to be accused, you are the person to be dispossessed and rejected and turned in. And that's what I've heard. People are trying to turn us in? For what? Trying to wake people up? What the hell is wrong with you people? You need to wake up. Even people within our movement need to wake up. It's time to take a chill pill, take a time out, and realize that, hey, maybe what you're doing in your daily life isn't helping our cause. Maybe it's making things worse. I agree. What do you say, G for D? I did not choose to wake up. This wasn't like I woke up one day and said, okay, I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna believe in all this, and I'm gonna, you know, ostracize my friends or, or, or make them feel inadequate or something like that. It's not like that. Once you start learning this information, once you start realizing the corruption that's in place, once you start realizing that we're truly living in the matrix, there's no way you can go back. If you go back, you're a hypocrite and you're a fraud. And I know plenty of truthers that are hypocrites and frauds. It's hard to live your life with the ideals that you understand and know. It is hard. So I appreciate all the people out there supporting us. Um, to do these trips cost money, man, that pay out of my pocket. So if you guys have time, hit the PayPal account, hit the PO box. I do appreciate it. I got a $75 donation from a buddy up in uh, Michigan and I appreciate that. That's helping pay to first some of the costs of doing these stories. But um, we're not gonna sit in our basement with our 45 doing stories, sucking down the internet, man. That's what it's about. We're getting out in the real world, in the real situation, 
finding out what's happening on the ground, talking to people, seeing the for lease office building, seeing the destruction of retail real estate, seeing the whole reorganization of our economy, basically having an entire population of men and women that have nothing to do on government programs, welfare programs, no productive capacity being added to the economy. This is the crap that we're seeing on a daily basis and I'm reporting it to you. It costs money, it takes time. Please think about donating a little bit of uh, your resources to help us and it helps us uh, uh, support the cause and get the news out. Any other thoughts? Now, thanks everybody and uh, that's a Chinese tour bus guys, right there. That who that's who's injecting money into our economy. The Chinese. G for T, pass the Redlands. Uh headed in D Kaipa, gonna get some gas. Take care, God bless.